Good evening, friends. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. So, friends, it is happening right now. Lawmakers are debating on a new spring stimulus package. Congress is also debating on allocating billions of dollars towards state and city governments. This could mean more state stimulus checks. So, friends, do watch until the end of this video. To learn if you qualify for up to $2,000. Also, know that I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. To enter any of the giveaways, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more often you comment below the keywords, the greater your chance of winning the $75 gift card. And today, friends, since it's Mother's Day, I'll be giving away three $75 gift cards. Please stay tuned for the video. Uh, the ongoing crisis in Ukraine is severe. Putin has used energy as a weapon to leverage power over European democracy and tends to do the same globally, using Russia's abundant energy resources. So far, the U.S. has taken significant steps to counter Putin's aggression, including banning the import of Russian oil, petroleum products, LNG, and coal while also authorizing additional LNG export capacity. These are critical moves to stop funding Putin's brutal war on the Ukrainian people, but there is more that we can do and we must do. In a time when maintaining and strengthening our energy security is top of mind, I look forward to hearing more about how the administration's budget requests will help us achieve that goal. At the same time, the Department's efforts to advance critical clean energy technologies from solar to nuclear energy and storage continue to transform the U.S. economy and reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And you have some pretty historic new authorities and funding levels with which to do that. Uh, this committee's work product, the Energy Act of 2020, established new pathways for research and development across the energy landscape. The bipartisan infrastructure law we passed late last year was a critical... Democrats in the Illinois House and Senate have reached a deal on the state budget. Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker's office said that the plan will provide $1.8 billion in relief for many taxpayers. The proposed budget suspends the taxes on groceries for one year, freezes the motor fuel tax for six months, and doubles the property tax rebate up to $300 per household. This plan also provides direct checks to families who make less than $200,000 a year for an individual household or $400,000 a year for joint filers. The governor's office said that the plan also includes back-to-school tax relief for families and teachers. Governor Pritzker's office also stated that the plan will include a $1 billion contribution to the Budget Stabilization Fund and an additional $200 million for pension payout. So in an official statement, the governor said, our plan delivers more than $1.8 billion in tax relief to Illinois residents, adds $1 billion to our state's long depleted rainy day fund, and doubles down on our efforts to make unprecedented investments in public safety. New York is also approving more relief for the residents the state's budget is now providing 2.5 million eligible New Yorkers a property tax rebate. The credit is available for low- and middle-income households, as well as seniors enlisted in the school tax relief program. Under the program, Basic Star and Enhanced Star recipients are eligible for the rebate. Basic Star recipients are those with an income of less than $250,000 a year. Enhanced members are those 65 and older, earning less than $92,000 a year. The rebates would be a percentage of their existing STAR benefits. However, there are many lawmakers that feel that this isn't enough of a tax break. So friends, please let me know in the comment section below. So my friends, please let me know in the comment section below if you reside in a state that's providing its own residents with stimulus checks. Well, now, friends, Senate Democrat Joe Manchin is at it again. Manchin surprised many in his own party by convening a meeting intended to reach a bipartisan energy agreement. It raised a lot of eyebrows among Democrats. Democrats are trying to mount a last-ditch effort 
to pass President Biden's economic agenda. Republicans and Democrats generally disagree on how to assemble a climate bill. Democrats in the House had passed $550 billion in clean energy tax credits as part of the Build Back Better plan. Those tax credits would have transitioned the U.S. away from fossil fuels onto wind and solar power, along with incentivizing the purchase of electric vehicles. Joe Manchin is on a different wavelength compared to most other Democrats. The conservative Democrat has also thrown cold water on the electric vehicle tax credits. Last year, Congress approved a $550 billion bipartisan infrastructure deal after months of wrangling. Much of the dispute centered on how to cover the new spending. Democrats have pushed tax increases on the rich, but Republicans took those off the table early on and vigorously defended the 2017 former president's tax law. Senate Republicans are not inclined to hike taxes, especially with the November midterms right around the corner. During an interview, Senate Republican Chuck Grassley said, I think what you gotta look at is it's gonna have to involve some taxes. Probably you're going to find it difficult for Republicans to raise taxes. Senator Manchin acknowledged the obstacle without specifying how to overcome it, stating that there is a lot of challenges here. Some Democrats like Senator Tom Carper of Delaware say they cannot get on board duplicating last year's two-track approach to ensure a bipartisan energy package and a reconciliation bill to travel in tandem. But Democrats would likely try to use a reconciliation bill to salvage the clean energy tax measures. That decision could deter Republicans that they need. So my friends, what are your thoughts on the current state of negotiations? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is paradise. If you would like to enter today's $75 Walmart gift card giveaway, I'll be giving away three $75 Walmart gift cards. Please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is paradise and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much, my friends. Well, my wonderful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so very, very much for joining me here today on Mother's Day. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching my videos daily. Please do me a favor, friends, and share this video with your friends and family if they need more reliable and accurate stimulus information. Thank you so much, everyone, and have a wonderful and blessed Mother's Day.